Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a weekly love spread for all of my Leos. This is a weekly love spread for all of my Leos out there from the week of February 2nd to the 8th. So let's get after it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What kind of energy? Kind of energy is coming towards my Leos during the week of February 2nd of today. What kind of energy is coming towards my Leos during the week of February 2nd of today? Two cards and need to see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so right from the start, we have someone that's at a crossroads here. Okay. They had a crossroads here. So, with that being said, let's get a little bit of clarification. Why is this individual at a crossroads here? 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 So many cards I need to see here. Okay, so. Okay. They had a crossroads because they have kind of switched things up a little bit okay so we got the page of pentacles here page of pentacles energy here okay is someone is is an individual um that's very careful with how how they word things how they communicate how they come off so in other words this is an individual at one at one point they were coming off one way okay um and it really kind of wasn't working for them so they kind of Took a step back, reevaluated the situation, um, and then gave it a different approach. Different approach pursuing a relationship with you. Okay, so now they're 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 very they, they pay very close attention to what they say, how they come off, and how they present themselves. So that's what's going on here with this individual. Okay, now this individual happens to be Queen of Pentacles. This is an Earth sign individual. Okay. This is, this is a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, all right? And this individual is very down-to-earth, very, very nurturing, very, very grounded energy, okay? <clears throat> so like I said before, you know, whatever they were doing, um, it really wasn't working for them. It really, you really weren't being as attentive as they would have liked you to be. Um, they really kind of felt like there really wasn't a good mesh there, and so... Instead of walking away from the situation, what they've decided to do is, like I said, they took a step back, reevaluated the situation, um, and, and approached it from a different perspective, okay? So you'll recognize this person by, um, it just, it kind of just seems like their energy is like going to be completely different than what it was before. Now it's going to, things are going to flow a lot more smoother between them and you. You're going to kind of notice that. You're going to kind of pick up on that, okay? Like I said, this is an earth sign individual. They're very down to earth, very grounded. They're also very good when it comes to their finances. So uh, they make very smart decisions when it comes to their finances. The very nurturing of their pentacles as well, okay? Now this individual is definitely going for a recognized victory. That's why they took the time to kind of step back from the situation to reevaluate it because they knew that hey you know i really think mean they really believe that you and them have have good potential okay um and really have good energy as well they just kind of had to re go back re-examine it and you're going to see this is an individual that all of a sudden it's just going to be this renewed energy it's going to be a, this renewed energy things are going to flow a lot more smoother because you probably uh you probably was and, and are kind of interested in this individual, but the energy was kind of clunky. Things just weren't meshing. And they kind of went back and whatever they did, it worked because now, now, you know, it, 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 it's, it's kind of getting them noticed, okay? Um, so, with that being said, they're definitely going for a recognized victory. Also, when I, this recognized victory, also, this is an individual that does not mind 
showing uh, uh, affection in public. So this is an individual that will hold your hand in public, um, will send you flowers, wants to meet your family, would like you to meet their family. So this is a person that's going to be completely wide open about their affections, okay? And this person obviously is looking for something long-term and committed relationship, definitely marriage being a part of the scenario, all right? In addition here, we also have this water sign individual here, Ace of Cups, okay? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And this individual is just, um, the lack of a better term, head over heels in love with you, okay? Um, they're, they're deeply, deeply in love with you, all right? Um, they, they view you as, as um, they, only, they don't only see you as beautiful on the outside, but also on the inside. This is a person that completely loves you. A com this is a complete love, okay? This is a truly complete love here um, on a cellular level, body, mind, and soul. Okay, this person has done a great deal of, of, of re really reflecting about this, really gave this a lot of thought. This, this is the type of individual, um, honestly, um, that will do anything for you and walk to the end of the earth for you. Uh, you know, will, will, I mean, you know, it will, will die for you pretty much. This, 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 is, this is how this individual feels about you. They feel like... Um, in regards now, <clears throat> I can get some clarification on this. If this person is your soulmate or not, or a twin flame here, but I, I am getting the, the sense here that this individual is 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 very deeply uh, feels very deeply attached to you. So, give me some clarification on this four swords. Give me some clarification on this four swords here. Watch this four swords here. Give me some clarification on this four swords here. Just want to see if this person is indeed your soulmate or twin flame here. Because I'm feeling this individual has an immense connection to you. At least in their mind. Alright, here we go. No, no, it doesn't appear that is the case here. But we drew two cards here. And they are, they do feel like you're putting out very vibrating energy so again they're 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 they just kind of drawn it's like it's like a moth to a flame you're putting out very bright positive energy and they're just extraordinarily attracted to it it's like a moth to the flame they just they're drawn to you in addition here we have the queen of pentacles energy which tells me that even financially they're willing to just be locked into a relationship with you they want to start a long-term future future with you um Right there, Johnny, on the spot. You know, it's just kind of like I'm sold for the long term. The long term. They, they, they are locked in. They are ready to start a long-term committed relationship with you um, in terms of getting your finances together, creating a solid foundation. They're locked into that right now. Okay? So this is, in, the, in other words, this is like a love at first sight type situation here. All right? Um, <clears throat> and they do, they are aware that you know, with that being said, they do realize that there are there are choices. They they do have other choices out there. Okay, uh, they have a decision to make, but they've decided that honestly, you are the one for them. Period. Complete stop. That's that's what we're dealing with here. Someone that's completely attracted to, like I said, a moth to a flame. They're just they're just attracted to everything about you. Your aura is just pulling them in, okay? And finally, we have a fire sign individual here, all right? Um, <clears throat> an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, this individual, um, there's an extraordinary uh, sexual attraction. Um, I don't know what you got going on, but the people, when they fall for you, they fall hard here. Um, they de this, this individual is definitely falling very hard. This, uh, this person is very, very deeply attracted to you uh, sexually. There's a very deep sexual chemistry here. So let's try to get a little bit more insight. And here's some clarification about um, this uh, Ace of Wands. So give me some clarification on this Ace of Wands. So give me some clarification 
on the Ace of Wands here. So this, like I said, this is an individual that is extremely attracted to you sexually here. There's not this individual is not only extremely attracted, this person not only extremely attracted to you sexually, um, but they are asserting they're 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 asserting themselves uh into this situation. Um they're trying to take a leadership role in this situation. So they're this is an individual that's really going to begin to let their presence be known here. Okay? This is an individual that's really gonna start pulling to the forefront here. Um, in terms of interaction with you, because there's a very deep, uh, uh, stronger uh, uh, sexual attraction here, like a hormonal type of situation going on here. Um, even so much so here, because this, this this sexual attraction is is, is a very uh, a very uh, commanding, a very strong. Um, I almost want to say a primal uh, sexual type of desire here. Um, with this with this emperor card here, so it, it is a very solid, the grounded sexual energy here that's permeating in this situation. Um, so much so that um, and this 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 has happened uh, to me once or twice before, where a person has been so sexually attracted to me. That you could just feel it coming off in 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 waves, um, you know. It's it's like without that person saying anything, without them being able to having to say anything, without them really even, um, you know, it kind of shoots you a glance every once in a while. But you can see that this person just wants to ravage you, like completely ravage you from head to toe. Like, you are, like, the main course type of thing here. And that's what's going on with this individual. They just, 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 just. And if you walk past this individual, you believe me, you'd feel it. You'd feel the energy. you feel the the, the palpation of, 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 what, of, of what this person wants to do. To, like a, It's like a craving energy here. All right? That's the best way to describe it. A very craving sexual energy here. And, of course, finally, it would make him happy. So, that, you know... They would be extraordinarily happy. It would make their millennia um, if there was to be some kind of uh, interaction with with you. So there's a so there's a lot of a lot of uh, potentials here. Okay. So that being said, let's see what um, what are strengths? What kind of strengths are you going to be dealing with here? What kind of strengths are you going to be dealing with here? What kind of strengths are you going to be dealing with? What kind of strengths? Are you going to be dealing with here? Some cards and see some cards. I mean, see, okay. What kind of strengths you're going to be dealing with here? Okay, so you want to be happy. That's 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 a first and foremost. That's like almost like a, a given. You want to be happy. You don't want to, you you know, you want to be happy in love. Some people aren't happy in love, but you want to be happy in love. You want to be happy with your with your partner. You want to be happy with your situation. You want to be happy with the potential future prospects. So you 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 want to be happy happy in love. And believe me, there is a difference because there are some people that are in love but it's kind of mediocre you know just 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 there's, there's no there's nothing there there's no spark anymore the sparks kind of going they love each other but they're not in love with each other and you want to be in love with your partner you want to be in love with the person that you um that you finally uh decide to settle down with um in addition here you've done a lot of contemplating and soul searching about the situation okay uh, and, you know, I'm getting a sense here that this contemplation, um, is something you, 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 you've witnessed in your life, other individuals and see how their relationships have gone. Um, and, 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 and you, you know, you're, you were very observant about how a lot of times that 
other people's relationships just begin to fizzle out and die after a while. And you don't want that to be you. You want you want to be happy uh, with 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 your partner. You've given a, a, you've also given a lot of thought here. Like this like this is reflecting, contemplating. You've put a great deal of thought into how to keep things fresh, how to keep things interesting. Okay, so you you've done a lot of contemplating about exactly how you can keep a long term relationship fresh and and and, and new. Okay, to keep to keep that spark alive, if you will. Um, now, three of wands here. You've put a couple of feelers out there, okay. Um, and at this point, you're just kind of waiting for your ships to come in, seeing what comes in over that horizon here. You, like I said, you put a couple of feelers out there. You're just waiting to see what type of things begin to come your way. Now, quite possibly, some of them could even be these particular uh, individuals that I mentioned over here. Also, we have the ten of wands here and so again <clears throat> removage of burdens you want to you don't want to deal with anybody else's baggage from previous relationships or 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 um things of that nature okay so again you don't want to deal with, in other words you don't want to deal with other people's baggage okay you want there to be a fresh clean perspective you want to remove it of move remove, removal excuse me removal of burdens in other words also we have the three of swords here now what's interesting about this is how could this be considered at again these are all your strengths okay the three of swords will come comes into play where it is telling me that in the past you have been involved in the third party situation before where you were the individual that was kind of um pretty much you were the one that got your heart broken okay um and you've built uh you, you you built an awareness of what that feels like what that looks like okay you know what to look for again so again this is your strength again you want to have something long term, some something deep, something some and also you want to keep it fresh. You want to again, you want to be happy, okay? And so in order to continue to make things happy, you know kind of like uh, what to look for when things are beginning to kind of go south a little bit. You know what kind of things, telltale signs to look out for. Okay? You got a lot of choices. And you're aware you have a lot of choices. Okay? You have a lot of choices out there. You're very Got page of wand, page of pentacles energy here again. As I was saying before, um, the page of pentacles energy is an individual that pays very close attention to their pentacles. In other words, messages. Very, very. You're very careful um, with how you uh, word things. You're very careful about, about how you come off, how you how you carry yourself. Okay. Um, you don't want there to be any. You don't want there to be any ambiguity about who you are and what you're about. You're very careful with how you present yourself, okay? Um, and you pay very close attention to that. Finally, here we have the High Priestess, and that tells me that you're into what you use your intuition quite a bit, okay? Uh, to the point, especially during the week of from the second to the eighth, uh, especially to the point where it becomes a strength for you. Okay, you're you're very you know you're very intuitive uh, when it when it comes to relationships. Again, you've paid very close attention to other people's relationships, what worked, what didn't work, etc., etc. And and so you have a couple of uh, a, a couple of ideas about how to keep things fresh and how to keep things new. Also, as I said before, um, you know you pretty much know what to look for. Uh, when you things are kind of starting to get a little sour because you've been on the receiving end of, of a third party situation before. So let's see what types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of the situation. What types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of the situation? What types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of the situation? What types of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of the situation? Let me see. Okay, take three off the top. Well, we have the Knight of Swords, okay? So, 
Whereas before, again, because these are things from your past that could possibly affect the outcome of the present situation. In the past, um, and that's how we learn, um, you kind of stuck with situations probably a little longer than you should have. Um, whereas though now, with this Knight of Swords energy, you will cut it, you will cut it quickly. Okay. If things are kind of going in a real going in a really weird direction, you are quick to just you'll cut it instantly. You won't waste a whole lot of time with it at all. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> you know, there, there's there's a finite amount of time that you're willing to give a situation. But and once it starts making that turn into a into an unhealthy or unfamiliar place, you'll cut it quick. Okay. In addition, we have to Five of Cups energy. In the past, you did a great deal. Uh, you had a great deal of regret looking back in the past. As I said, um, with this um, <clears throat> Three of Swords situation here, or with the third party situation, there was a great deal of regret, a great deal of remorse, a great deal of kind of looking back at the past. Um, you know, maybe second guessing yourself. Maybe there's things that you could have done better. And and if it maybe it was your fault, or maybe you didn't, didn't weren't affectionate enough. Um, again, that's changed. At this point, there's no, you don't do a whole lot of looking back. There's not a whole lot of regret. You're looking, you have this tendency to look forward, not in the past, okay? And, you know, that has been able to help you make a lot, a lot healthier choices, okay? When you stay in the past too much, you get stuck there. So you realize that the only way forward is to keep your eyes focused, on the future and that's what you do you don't know there's not a whole lot of regret like I said that's exactly why you'll cut things out quick that begin in your mind at least begin to become toxic finally we have the Knight of Cups here this Knight of Cups energy tells me that you are an individual that pretty much feels as though that you are a good catch you know you kind of you, you, you kind of fancy yourself as like a being a dominating daring dashing type of individual and you know you're you you exhume that you know you're a good catch in other words so um okay so those are the things and like i said in the past maybe not so much so with that being said let's see what additional information spirit wants to give before i shut this thing down okay. what additional information the spirit want to give before i shut this thing down and what additional information the spirit want to give before i shut this thing down here what additional information the spirit wants to give Ooh, wow. Well, that was the first. I just had three just come out. So those are the three that we're going to take. So one would be fragments. Okay. <clears throat> even though, even though, um, these you know, the, you have a, a you you built yourself. You have certain specific things that you're looking for in this relationship, okay? And you like I said, you'll cut things out quick and things of that nature. Don't look back in the past. The spirit's saying, be aware that there are still some fragments there. Um, that uh, some things from your past that you still have to heal. There are still some fragments there. Okay, don't fool yourself into thinking you're 100, completely, 100% healed from any kind of uh, negativity you've dealt with in the past, okay? There's still fragments, there's still, there's still fragments of that there that you have to work on. So, um, you know, we can never improve ourselves enough. Always constantly improving ourselves, improving our outlook, improving our health, improving our spirituality, okay? Improving our understanding of the world. So, don't think that you're you're in a situation where you're you're completely out of the woods when it comes to that. Continue in the pursuit of, of, of getting better with how you handle things, how you handle people, your insight, okay? Because there's still fragments there. Okay? At, at beneath all this, we're still we're still kids. We're still small children that want love and want to be loved, okay? And it's gonna take some time to kind of get through those through over that hump so there's still fragments there that you still have to work with and in, in addition reaction so understand that any action that you take um there's going to be a reaction to it so uh, for example 
um, as I said, you have two particular individuals that really stand out to me here. The Ace of Cups would be one. This person is just head over heels in love with you. Um, you know, uh, kind of like a, a, a love at first sight type of thing. And just understand if you move in that direction, okay, it's going to be reactionary. This person's, you know, it's, 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 it's going to create a situation where there are going to be a certain amount of expectations that are going to be expected either way here. Okay, it's going to be reactionary. This person is in love with you. And if you show a person that you're in love, that's in love with you, you, you show them, you know, if you're interested, that's one thing. That's one thing. But understand, if you if you kind of start pursuing this, this this situation with this person that's hit over heels in love with you, then that's their understanding of the situation, and just you know it, it'll be taken from there. Same thing with this person that's sexually attracted, like massively on a primal, um, primitive, a craven type of, of sexual attraction that this individual has for you. Okay, um, things are gonna get crazy real quick. One, you know, if, if they feel as though that there is, you know, really deep sexual chemistry that they have with you, and you and you and like and kind of return that, Lord have mercy. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, there's gonna be re whatever way you go, there's gonna be a very explosive reactionary, rather be in terms of true beauty, true love, or rather be in terms of craving sexual desires here. Okay. Finally, here we have alliance, and also what this what this is really saying to me, alliance is no matter which way this situation goes, you're going to be able to build long term relationships with these individuals. Even the individual with the, the sexual um, the sexual uh, uh, aspect, it'll it'll just be very deeply sexual in nature. The relationship, but you'll be able to build an uh, alliance with that individual, and you will be able to build things as well. This is something that's going to be that's going to last. It's not going to be anything that's fleeting. It's going to last for a while here. So you're going to be able to gain meaningful relationships, even if one is prime is 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 based in in deep 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 love, or one that's based in it, it has love. Okay, also have love, but there's also a very large sexual component as well. So either or, you're going to be able to build strong relationships with these individuals. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, this is a general weekly love reading. This may not resonate with everyone. If it did resonate with you and you want to know a little bit more, I'll leave the link below. Feel free to get a personal reading. If it didn't resonate with you and you want to know a little bit more about your particular personal situation, again, the link's below. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to get uh, notified about all the videos that I drop, okay? My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.